And you really should pay attention to this stall because according to the NTSB, the highest fatality rate is to go around, is to take off, and it's because of the trim. If banana peels like that. Hey everyone, this is Liz Brassoff from Thrust Flight. I'm one of the chief flight instructors here. Today we're gonna talk about the elevator trim stall. For more of a breakdown on the ground of what this stall consists of and how to perform it, watch this video here. And today I'm gonna to show you in flight the coaching and performance of the stall. Okay, I will take the controls and do a elevator trim stall next, flight controls. Your flight controls. Flight controls. Your flight controls. So we've just finished the pre-maneuver checklist and we've cleared our area. We just did a 180, a 180 degree turn to clear the area. So I'm trying to demonstrate as a CFI to a student, again, not build their proficiency, but show them that because of your trip position, sometimes that's what can lead you to a stall. So the scenario I'm gonna give the student is we're coming in on a landing, we've got it tripped for a landing and we decide to go around. But landing trip isn't what I want in a go around power setting, which can actually bring the aircraft to a stall. So let's set up like we're landing. So I'm gonna pull the throttle back to about 1500 RPM. Here's drop and left down. And again, I just wanna hold out as I'm doing that. So a little bit of back pressure, some nose up trim to hold that. And as we slow down below our flap extension speed, I'm going to go ahead and put in first notch flaps. Let it stabilize. We'll put in the second notch flaps here. Check in my trim. I've got full flaps and I want to establish a descent. And again, my landing air speed and about 500 feet per minute, that's a pretty normal configuration for your actual traffic pattern. And I just want to be tripped to hold that. So I'm looking for roughly 60 knots and about 500 foot per minute in this airplane. And I want to trim so I could do that basically hands off. Okay. And then I'm going to go full power like we're going around. I'm going to work the rudder so we stay coordinated, but I want you to see what happens to the pitch. It's not me pulling back, but it's going to actually raise the nose here considerably. So we'll go full power, go around. I'm using some right rudder to keep us coordinated. And you see, if I don't intervene, this airplane's going to go straight to a stall. So I'm going to apply some forward pressure there to prevent it. I could let my student feel how much pressure is there to prevent us from getting to a stall and then we want to correct it. So uh, keep the power full. I put forward trim in and I make sure that I'm keeping the nose on the horizon here so that we can build some airspeed, take out the flaps one notch at a time. That's going to help us accelerate considerably. And now we know every time we do a go around, if it's from a landing configuration, we're going to need some forward pressure to prevent that airplane from raising the nose into a stall. It, and you really should pay attention to this stall because according to the NTSB, the highest fatality rate is to go around, is to take off, and it's because of the trim. If banana peels like that, it goes nose high and you end up into essentially a power on stall, right? I mean, your nose up, you're at full power, you don't have any more juice that you could give. Uh, and if you're uncoordinated, it's going to pull in the direction that it's uncoordinated and then what do we call uh, an uncoordinated stall? Well, that's a spin. Yeah. It's a, at least the start of it. So, and then they just, basically you're so low to the ground, you end up spinning into the dirt and it's uh, no one for one. not enough altitude to recover from. So, expect the trim stall. Yeah, definitely. Bend it right down. Well, that about wraps up today's video on the elevator trim stall. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment if you've got questions and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.